beautiful day. Waiting all day for this. We're at Marina somewhere, Richmond, California. And the big boats there. And I shall notice, I have my kite tucked away in this nice little bag here. And my halyard is clipped in on the side. Otherwise, it gets caught up on the jib. Let's say hello to these folks. We always say hello to folks. Hello folks, how you doing? <laughs> and what I'm gonna do here, with the dog lease attached to here, I'm gonna undo this and undo my shock cord. I'm going to raise the kite. Sheets attached over to the rails here for the uh, crowds. And a better dive. Now, I'm going to do a no hands dive. Put my tiller over there. All right? Do that, do that. And then, come on, boat. Grab that. Come over here. Come on this. And, voila. What a nice boat. Hope I won't hit the shore over there. Uh, well, we should pay attention, but we don't know how to do that. Okay. Yeah, looking pretty good. Didn't expect this one today. And hopefully I didn't just get my lens wet. The kite's too far out. And as you can see, I need a new kite. Up, 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 up. On the leech. Try not to hit the little buoy there. Well, they're kind of typical for winter, but I got my weight too far back in the wall. Move my weight forward and forward, and get some pressure up. Look back, look around for wind shifts and gusts. Any gusts? See how you're doing your time. Doing pretty good. Up a little bit. The kites aren't cut real well. Uh, okay. Well, you kind of want to be on the edge of bluffing. Just like a spinnaker. Nothing new. Bow down a little bit more. See how the boat just picked up a little bit of speed? It could be relative. Could be relative. Or not. It could be one of your relatives. I'm going to try and bear off a little bit with the speed I've got. And I'm still keeping the speed. The more I can bear off keeping the speed. Nope, losing it. Come on back up. 
Oh, too much, too much, mister. Okay. Well, this is a nice medium wind day for most places. Here we call it light air. And it's a beautiful battleship, the red something. I can't read. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little, another jibe here. I'm gonna bear off, put my pillar right there. I can sit right there, all right? Go up here, do that, do this. Duck, pull, shift, and then pull in and grab. You don't want the tiller to drag. So if you go too far over, you pull it back, it's gonna slow the boat down. And was it perfect? Not by any shot. Up, get some speed up, mass forward in the boat. You don't want to get back in the boat. You don't want to see a bunch of drag. I come back here. See all that? Not good. You saw it. Go forward, disappears. Okay, even though I weigh 250 pounds on a donut day, the jib's too tight. Killing my speed. I don't want to look at the top part of it. Okay. And yeah, like that. That was pretty good. You know, I'm choking off a little bit. Got to head up. No, oh, too much. Okay, well, that's a wind shift. And. Racing right now, I'd probably be in last place. But we're gonna take another jibe. What I want to do is get away from the wind shadow of that boat over there. It's pretty obvious. Now, let's try that jibe again. Okay, I'll bear off a little bit. Flip, flip, throw. Come on, pull, pull. Hey, much better. Okay, usually the second or third jibe. That's why I come out of the race course. And practice jibes, tacks, starts, you know, that kind of thing. If you want to win. If you don't care, just get out of the race course and uh, see what happens. Maybe you get lucky. So, I hate looking at my kite. I need a new kite. I don't like fluttering this drag. Bum, 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 bum. But it's not going to get much better. I'm going to pull it up as tight as I can go here. And uh, when you do this, I'm going to put the board down a little bit so you keep traction. So let's say we've got the mark set up here. And the other thing is, you want to get your height up, up tight, okay? You want to pull the halyard up like I just did. You see, it's very easy when you have an adjustable halyard. Now ah, that's much better looking. It's still got a flop in the leech. How much I can do about that? I'm pulling the main a little bit more. And here we go. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but it's kind of light. But, you know. Okay. Now I'm going to throw my kite. Do that. Come into the mark. I gotta hit off the wind a little bit, right? Otherwise, it's gonna be a disaster. I just one hand it. Take your time. Keep your hand here on the kite. Okay? Keep the pressure on it. And there we go. The board down. And see that? Okay, pretty good. And I forgot to do this part. I'm going to higher. So I come into the wind, slack off, pull it up as much as I can. Without going back in and fixing things. Uh, 
I'm not the fastest rigger in the world, and I got a lot of stuff going on today. So I screwed up a lot. But. Uh, Alright, so keep this hole out of the water. Keep that hole in the water. Keep that main full. I want the draft to be back. Back in the sail, okay? Tightens aren't too tight for light air. Tighten them up if the wind blows. I don't like that, but I'll take a little bit out of there, okay? Uh, good to slick up your track so that doesn't happen. But mine's always kind of old. Okay, get a new boat. Alright. So, I've got weeds. I see that. See my weeds. I'm going kind of slow. So I gotta fix that. Stop the camp. Okay, I got a little, little breeze here. And it's on a close reach. Trying to stay out of the lee of this land over here. And head out towards all those lasers over there. So I can show off a little bit. Down. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the kite. videos. You see how I went up there? And we Okay, I'm digging the hole a little bit. Whoa. Tails in your jib. Well, your jib's a little tight. Six, five, four, three, two, two and a half, one. There you go. Like a relationship, it's on again and off again. On again, she's looking good. She's looking sweet. And nice day. It's Angle Island over there. Probably can't see it. Over. 
Great to work race committee. That those people, they're all right. You're all right. Not a lot of wind by the optics. But we're moving okay. Maybe <laughs> I was a little cute. But here are my eyes. I just want to show you how your jib can really slow your speed down. Okay? Well, that's hard to say. But that's how you want it. You don't want to do this, right? Even though your telltales may say it's perfect set, anything where the newer telltale is slapped around is too tight. Let that jib out. Better let it out too far than have it in too far. Looks like the main's always in too far. Especially when it's windy, you just want to crank the sucker in. When it's not too windy, it's okay to get proper flow on the sail. So keep your weight kind of forward. Keep, keep the uh, balance going. We're moving. I know we're having a good time. If you go up too high, you're gonna kill your speed. Too low, you're gonna kill your speed. You're in a lake, you gotta race downwind. Constantly got to play the main and the jib, I mean the main and the, uh, most of the main and the kite. So I'm losing speed. I want to come up a little bit, gain some speed, pull the main in a little bit. I'll speed back up and then bear off a little bit, right? The current wind will Bring the wind more forward and let you bear off. So you need to get that speed up to get that apparent wind forward. And then you can bear off. And I'm gonna head up. When you head up around the mark, use the main first. Bring the main in first. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. And then the jib, right? Just like that. Okay. And my cute little jib lead there. And I'll bring it in. And it has a nice shape. Jib has a nice shape. It's new. Main is new as well. Broke it out so you guys can see what a nice shape looks like. So I have it in the between the second and the third lead. The back and the second lead, whatever that is. Now, look what just happened. Okay? Look at my telltale. And it, it's, it's off. Instead of just bearing up like that, breaking the tail a little bit, when you get a shift like that, what you want to do is let it off and then pull it in as you come up. Right? So you keep the flow on the sail. Yep. Yep. Ooh, my telltale's a little crimped. Well, that's what I get with a new sail. Alright, so look up. And top one should be about the same flow as the bottom one, so that's the trick, right? So pulled in too much, and back one's the main, right? See that? Okay. Now that's about right. That's slot right there. A little bit on and off. Head up. Keep your weight kind of forward, light air. Not kind of forward, but forward. 
Get that bow keeping in, right? Get this. Well, really, that should be out of the water, should it? <laughs> so now it's out of the water. I'm in here. It's a good slot. Good slot. To get more speed, crank the main in. Right? Not too flat. I mean, if you're fat, not too flat. The more wind, the flatter. Gonna happen if you're not steering the boat. I'm gonna attack now. I'm gonna attack. A nice, easy over. Grab. That's yeah, easy as that. A little too far. Build my speed. If you wanna get kinda tricky, then. You gotta do a laser attack. I'll come over here. Like so. Probably have a little snap here. I checked on the jib too tight. But that was a good time. That was a good time. I'll tight on the main. I keep that wind flowing. Until you get your speed up. You know, nice to have a few hands, but. And attack again. Roll it over. Um, pretty good. A little over. A little over, but you know, I don't think that would do. And this one I'll go a little easier. A little easier. A little sooner. And absolutely no problem with the tiller that time at all. So easier can be better. I think you get a little more uh, DMG when you roll it. But maybe a little slow down as well. So I'm gonna roll it a little quicker and boom. Crack. Crack on. It's hard to say which to do first, main or the jib. I'm gonna pop paint. The bird up ahead. Bird. Jonathan. Jonathan. Livingston. Seagulls. Yeah. Pull the board up. Clear the weeds. Push it back down. Take a drink of water. So we're gonna have a lot more fun when the wind starts blowing. But this is a hell of a day. You know, it's beautiful. That's a cormorant. See the cormorant? It's saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. This has got really heavy bones. Whoa! Could be a little slacker on the jib now. Just a little bit. Okay. All adjustable. Okay, so now um, I'm trying to talk to you, but you can't hear me. So I'm going to come in with my microphone and explain to you what I'm doing. Uh, right there, I believe I just did a jibe. So, pulling in with the spinnaker, and now we're going back up wind, beating it on the main. Not too tight, I want to choke it off, look at the upper part of the leech, make sure it's not twisted inward. 
trying to pull it up real high, then you know, of course you want to pull it a little tighter, but then you got to get your speed back up. So sometimes at the start, you might want to speed in a little more than you would normally, but you can't stay up too high too long. Eventually, the boat's going to have to drop down and gain speed. So you see, I just scooted further forward and way forward. I don't kind of really like. And you'll notice that the windward Hama is out of the water. The leeward Hama is in the water. It kind of acts like a centerboard. And now I feel like I packed. So, real easy. Um, you know, you don't want to have big tiller movements. It's real slight. As soon as you push the tiller hard over, you're going to have a lot of drag. And the same thing coming back the other way. If you push it too far over, uh, coming back the other way, if you, you tack too far over, uh, then you're going to have to pull the tiller towards you too much to get, or push it, whatever. Yeah, push it to get back up into the wind. You don't want to do that. So now I've kind of leaned out and nice and casual with my new uh, rock stand pants. Too low, so you can see my crack. Okay, I've tacked the crack and I'm going along. Uh, not too much lots of the speed, so not too bad of a tack. Just keep practicing. Uh, so you can see I just kind of let it over just a little bit. Drop it, face forward, attack it, just like red. Not quite as sexy, but effective. So, you know, you might want to let off the vein a little bit and crank back in on it, but I usually don't. Pretty lazy. Try a little bit of a roll pack this time. A little bit of a roll. And grab it. Notice I try not to lean back in the boat too far to grab that tiller. I got long arms, that's my advantage. Uh, now I pulled it kind of. So basically what I'm trying to do is grab the mark right now. So I pull the guy out, let the main, I guess I try and pull the guy out before I get to the mark and let the main out. Set the tip right. Now I need to look back, look up at my sail, there you go, and see that the mainsail needs to be trimmed in. So I'll lean back there and trim in the mainsail. Look up, yep, trim in the mainsail. And probably can trim in a little bit more than I did. But uh, you're going to have some twists up there in the leech. It's really um, you know, a matter of getting your speed up and using the parent wind to bear on. Here I've got good speed. I'm kind of heating it up right now. Pull the main in more, good boy. And you can kind of, kind of tell by the sun if I bear off at all. Uh, use my parent wind. So you can see I've used my parent wind to bear off. Um, and now I'm going to heat it up again. So it's like, uh, you know, probably only about five. Five knots of wind right now, but doing pretty good. So probably a little faster than wind. Um, jive, pull over. Jive the sheep, jib sheeps, and pull up on the kite. That's how I hold my hiking stick. It's almost like you don't want to be like a puppy sailor and have it over to the side, sentry sailor or something. You want to have it forward, cross forward of you as a habit. That way you don't really put a brake on the tiller when it wants to make a boot. Let the tiller go with the boat. You know, it gives you a lot better feel. Just like all laser sailors sail like this. It's old habit. Um, so well, that's probably one thing I do better than Dave Burnson. For one thing, is hold my tiller. It shows you a good slot in the jib. And here's the final hole in the main. And then here's my fancy little jib setup. Where I have rope looping through each hole. And then I just flip into which hole I want to, which is the back one. 
But that clue gives me a back hole and forward hole, first and second hole, or third and fourth, however you want to say it. Uh, pull on the tip, which gives it a good, good leech tension, not too much foot tension. See, I gripped the side of the boat with my bronze stand booties. Pretty bronze stand out here. They pay me a lot of money for this. Uh, here's a cute little shot of the water. Uh, I'll keep that bow in. And now you can see I'm inside the boat because the wind has really died off. Hopefully I'll make it back to the dock without paddling. But I did. I had to paddle a little bit. And uh, it's all good. Talking to myself. Uh, I'm saying there's really no wind and I'm still moving. So all the other boats around are pretty much dead in the water. And I am moving on into a good clip. Uh, kind of like magic. I don't think being heavy hurts you too much when it's really light like this. I do pretty well. Uh, when it's medium wind, I kind of suck eggs. So, as you can see, my wind is out of the water. And I'm approaching, approaching another hazard mark. Which I'm getting famous for. Uh, nice flow in the main. Uh, it's a little warped, a little mass bend, but that's just the perspective of the Super View with the new GoPro. 3 plus uh, another company paying me a lot of money and they're at the motorboat they're cheating so not much you can do against the motorboats except for breathe cleaner air and here's a shot of me putting too much weight on the back of the boat which is giving me drag so I'm going to move back forward and nice sparklies in the water now I'm going to look back up at the main and forward. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Looks like I'm going to make it in. Okay, there's another shot of my fancy little tip here. Um, Winter. That is summer. And that's me talking to myself again. This is kind of like the Hobbit. Like there and back again. Yeah.